Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Cyborg Essentials on VMware Workstation 14.0 Professional Edition. Now before we dive in the installation part of Cyborg Essentials on VMware Workstation, let us first of all understand what is the importance and what is meant by Cyborg Essentials. Penetration testing is regarded as an art which is essential for knowing where your network and systems are weak. So in order to do penetration testing, the right tool for that task is the Debian based Cyborg Essentials. While you are scrambling to resolve a security issue, the last thing you do is to spend time searching for the right toolkit. And when it comes to time to ascertain your network's or system strength and weaknesses, you want a single platform that allows you to run a host of tools. Penetration testing platforms such as Cyborg Essentials can help. The Debian-based Cyborg Essentials is one of the most advanced and comprehensive penetration testing source that you will come across. Within Cyborg Essentials, you will find comprehensive set of tools from basic things to advanced things in order to perform penetration testing as well as forensics. These tools exist within the framework of XFCE which does an outstanding job of making it incredibly simple to use Cyborg Essentials. The developers have also included Conkey to give you a quick glimpse of a system usage such as networking, USB devices, battery, CPU, RAM and other information. So in order to install Cyborg Essentials, the first thing is to open the main website that is called cyborg.zetrila.com slash download, which is the comprehensive all-in-one resource in order to download Cyborg Hork, which I have already given in my another video and I will also leave, uh, leave link to that video in the description below, as well as Cyborg Essentials. So let us click on Cyborg Essentials, you will find the main website that is cyborg.zetrila.com zetrila.com slash cyborg essentials over here and you can find the latest version is version 1.0 so in order to download you can click on the on the link that is download and click here and you can default type the username as root and tour as the password in order to link into cyborg essentials and make it sure that it is debian based so rest all the information is the same as we've already covered into cyborg hawk so now let us dive into the practical aspect of this video the part b in which i will be demonstrating step by step in order to install cyborg essentials on vmware workstation version 14.0 so let's minimize and let's start vmware workstation so as it is Debian based, so let me tell you how to install it in a clean and comprehensive manner. So let's click on create a new virtual machine. So let's go with typical and click on next and I will choose this option that is I will install the operating system later. So I click on next and now I go with Linux but over here because it is Debian based so I go with Debian that is 8.x that is 64 bit because it is based on Debian so I will only use the Debian 64 bit. So I click on next so I give this name that is Cyborg essentials so let us take this location as e colon under my virtual machine so you can fit any location whatever you need to have under by clicking browse button so i click on next and i allocate at least 30 gb for this allocation and i click on next and i go with customize the hardware so over here i first of all increase the ram from 512 mb to 2048 which will be about 2 gb of ram and you can increase the ram as per your requirements so under processes i will go with number of cores that is number two because i'm using core i7 so i will use that only and after that we go with uh, virtual dvd so i click on the iso image and i click on browse and i go with cyber essentials 1.0 zero and I go with properties so you can see that it is about 1.41 GB of size so download carefully and I will also leave the link to download section or how to download in the description below so I click on open so and I click on close so everything is being set and you can take the network adapter as NAT so I click on finish and let the machine gets created and now we power on with the virtual machine so I click on view and click on full screen so now you can see that the opening things has come so over here we have the boot menu which means they have the live that is AMD 64 live forensic mode install graphical install and even the ad advanced options so if you want to try before installing you can go with this option that is live AMD 64 but as the system is giving me the uh, proper installation you can go with even the DOS based installation you can even go with graphical install so as a newbie and even the advanced user I would like to recommend that go with only the graphical install version of this 
Linux. So I click on graphical install and I press enter. So you will see that most of the distribution is based on Debian. So even you will find that most of the installation steps are equivalent to Kali Linux. So the first option has come that is select a language. So I go with the selection of the language as English and I click on continue and I change uh, my region from other to Asia because I'm living in Vietnam. So I just go and select uh, Vietnam. So and I click on continue. So I take the configurable zone as uh, that is uh, your uh, United States itself. So I click on continue. So I use the keyboard as American English. So no need to change anything. And it is detecting the keyboard and it is mounting the CD-ROM drive. So now it is loading the additional components from the CD. So you can see that it is similar to Debian Linux as well as Kali Linux. So if you are experienced person to Kali Linux, you will find no problem or issuing any uh, difficulty while installing this Cyborg Essentials 1.1. So it is detecting the network hardware also so that it can allocate a local IP address via DHCP configuration. So it is uh, now configuring the network with DHCP and it has succeeded. So let us take the host name as Cyborg itself. So no need to change. If you want to change, you can change it. So I click on continue. So it is detecting the disk and other hardware. Now we have to create with the disks. So it is setting up the partitioner. So over here, no need to change anything. So guided use entire disk. I click on continue. So again, we can having the 32 GB of disk. So it is okay for us. So click on continue. So all files in one partition, it is okay. So finish partitioning. So I click on continue and I write changes to disk. So click on yes and click on continue. So it is very easy. So now you can see that it is copying the data to the disk. So the installation time depends on your system speed as well as VMware. So almost it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to install. So till it installs, let us pause the video for some time and we return back once we finish the installation. So now you can see that almost the installation of the system is finished. So it is installing some extra packages and it is configuring the APT. So it is retrieving the file online. So it can take the time because depending on the internet speed and the server load, so it is done. So let's wait for the next step in which we have to, uh, you can say, deploy the bootloader. So now you can see that it is configuring the Grub PC. So let's have the selection for grub that is where the grub will be installed. So I recommend it to install on the first partition that is slash dev slash SDA. So I click over here and I click on continue. So continue without installing grub. It is, I think so, that what we have to do is to click over the continue. You can see the option that is continue without installing grub. So what we have to do is to click on yes. So it is configuring the grub PC and now you can see that it is installing the grub bootloader. So now install grub bootloader to the master boot record. Let's keep it into yes and click on continue. So note we have to device enter manually. So slash dev slash sd is okay. So click on continue and now you can see that it is installing the grub bootloader and it is finishing the installation. So installation is complete. So let us click on continue in order to restart the package as well as to restart the cyborg essentials distribution. So you can see that it has started restart. So what we have to do is to just go with Cyborg GNU and press enter. So a very clean and beautiful interface of Debian you can see over here. So let me off this. So in a few moment of time, we will be greeted with the, uh, the opening uh, login page in which you will be beautifully seeing the Cyborg Essential. 
So almost all the options which we have seen is uh, very much basic, very much easy and very comprehensive to install uh, Cyborg Essentials and uh, you will all relish to love into the, uh, to work into this. So let's wait for the starting. You can see all the demons have started successfully. So no need to worry about that. So the username will be root and the password will be tour as we have seen in Kali Linux. So here we have the username as root and password as tour. So I will be also leaving the, uh, the detail of the username and password in the description below. So we are greeted with the opening of the Cyborg Essentials. So now let us roam over here. So if I click over Cyborg Essentials menu, you can find Run Program, Terminal, File Manager, Web Browser. So over here we have the Cyborg main reporting things that is Anonymity, Information Gathering, Vulnerability Assessment, Exploration Toolkit, Privilege Escalation, Maintaining Access, Stress Testing, Forensics, Reporting, Reverse Engineering, Wireless Toolkit. So we have under Bluetooth, we have BT Scanner and we have the Wi-Fi that is Aircrack, Kismet, Lenset, MDK3. So everything it is over here. So mobile security, everything is there. So let's go and, oh, and start the terminal. So let's have the IP address of this machine. So if config, so you can see that the IP address is there. So let's ping Google, ping space minus three, three to www.google.com. So it is pinging. It is good. So let's uh, take the name of host name CDL. So you can see that it is having the VMware as well as a boot ID operating system everything over here. So let's take the version also so cat slash etc slash lsp hyphen underscore release so you can see it is distribution 1.0 and essentials. So if you want to update you can just go with this that is apt hyphen get update. So you can see that everything is being updated over here. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Cyborg Essentials on VMware Workstation 14 Professional. So I hope that you do like this video and uh, do comment and, uh, and give me your opinion that what are you working into security and how you are using Cyborg Essentials and what more videos do you want me to make on Cyborg Essentials. Your comments are totally welcome from my heart. So thank you so much for watching. Do give this a shot. Thank you so much.